Wow, really opened up on that one. Howdy there folks, my name's Steven and today I have something very exciting to show you. That's the CZ457 Varmint Precision Chassis Rifle. This is the 16.5 inch barreled version. CZs are made in the Czech Republic. And since my heritage is from Czech, I have to admit, I really wanted to get my hands on one of these. Now this comes chambered in 22 long rifle. It features a one in 16 inch twist barrel. Uh, May capacity is five and it does come with a five round magazine, but you can get it uh, in higher capacity. It features a full length aluminum chassis with a hard anodized finish for abrasion and scratch resistance. It has a heavy tapered cold hammer forged barrel that's threaded one half by 28 and does come with a thread protector. So it's suppressor ready. The rifle weight on this is seven point, or excuse me, seven pounds. So it's not too, too heavy, but plenty heavy enough for entry level competition. And the trigger mechanism is fully adjustable and it is a first stage trigger. The safety is two positions, push to fire. Now, Let's start at the rear here. It features a Luth AR style stock here that is almost all made of polymer with a couple metal components. To adjust your length of pull, you pull down on this tab right here on the bottom and you can slide the stock forward and backwards in several positions. Now, right now I have it locked in, so I can't really show you that because there's a little tension screw uh, Allen head screw on the left side of the stock above where that pull down screw is that's spring loaded to adjust your length of pull and you tighten that to really lock it in place. If you don't lock that screw in place and tighten that down, there's actually a lot of slop in the butt stock. And some people don't even know that that screw exists and needs to be tightened to lock this in place. It features a very nice little Allen key that clips into this recess in the stock um, that you can use to adjust that. If you want to fully remove the buttstock, you pull down with the notch on the screw here, on the spring-loaded screw, you want to uh, orientate that notch facing towards the front of the stock and pull down, and that'll allow the screw to pull further out, and you can remove the stock completely. On the bottom side is a polymer Picatinny rail, and on the rear is a nice, hard, very hard rubber uh, butt pad. Um, but being 22 caliber, uh, it being very hard isn't really a significant factor. Um, now, it looks like it features QD cups here so that you can attach a QD sling, but I tested it out several times and these definitely do not uh, are not QD cups. You can't attach a QD sling, but there is a hole there um, where you can put your own QD adapter cup inside the recess and then you could attach a QD sling to it. Of course, you have your standard buffer tube. And then coming forward, you have this very nice, high quality uh, vertical pistol grip that you can swap out if you desire. Uh, then you have a all aluminum uh, trigger guard that is one piece part of the chassis. The trigger on this is nice and it is fully adjustable. And we're gonna, I'm gonna adjust that and do some more follow up videos on it. And we're gonna take this out to the range and do some testing on it. But initial impressions with the trigger is actually from the factory, it came at about four and a half to five pounds trigger weight or pull weight, excuse me, and had, has, significant, has a significant amount of, of uptake and creep in it. Um, so kind of displeased with the trigger uh, as it comes from the factory. It has a wide trigger blade that is curved though, and that feels good. Um, it has a 60 degree bolt throw, a large uh, all metal bolt knob, which is easy to grab and I do like, has a cocked indicator at the rear to position safety. On the rear, it does not lock the bolt, um, but you cannot fire the rifle on, the, on forward. Of course, you can fire the rifle. Now, let's show that trigger again just for a second here. As you can see, you have some uptake and trigger creep. Once it breaks though, it breaks clean once it breaks. And, it, and then it, it feels a little lighter than it, it measures on the scale for whatever reason. And it has virtually no over travel, which is good. Um, then coming forward, you have that very nice, high quality, hard anodized receiver. Um, that's made of the highest quality materials and then coming forward a hard uh, hammer forged coming forward a hammer forged barrel um, that is a one in 16 twist with a one and a half by 28 threaded end. One thing to note is it comes with a dovetail base 
uh, as part of the receiver. It's it's actually machined into the receiver. And in, in some cases, that's nice if you're not gonna use it for competition, um, but it's zero MOA. So if you wanna use this for competition in 22 comps NRL, such as I do uh, wanna use this, then you're gonna to need to get a base that goes on top of that or rings that have MOA built into them. And so I have attached this 41950 MOA base um, that's a full Picatinny width on top, on top of that, and then I put regular Vortex uh, PMR rings on that um, that are made for a standard width Picatinny rail. And then I have on top of that a Vortex Razor Gen 2 um, and you might say, wow, that is ridiculous scope for a 22. And that's true, unless you're gonna use it for NRLX, which is kind of uh, the purpose and why I did this. And then coming forward, you have this very nice uh, aluminum uh, forend that features M-lock all along the bottoms, along the sides, and it has QD cups on either side as well. And those do uh, work for attaching a QD sling to them. On the left side, there is a bolt release. You simply push in on the spring-loaded tab, remove the bolt straight to the rear, and you can easily take it out. The bolt is made of very nice polished metal, and it has dual extractors, which is great to see, and it seems to be machined very well. There's not a lot of machining marks or any issues there. So, overall impressions with this rifle is it's an excellent rifle. Um, it functions great. The action on it feels absolutely fantastic. The bolt runs very smooth in the receiver. I like the short 60 degree bolt throw. Um, and everything feels good except for the trigger. I prefer from the factory that this trigger come uh, better adjusted and lighter weight, but you can adjust it as the user. It has some set screws. You simply turn them and you can adjust that weight down. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this review of the CZ457 uh, Varmint Precision Chassis Rifle. We will be taking this out to the range and doing some uh, mid and long range testing videos with it, so stay tuned for those.